Let's head back to where we probably spent the most time in our days in Chicago, the Madhouse on Madison. But lots of good memories at the United Center. I still remember my first game. It feels like the last game was a 2015 Cup clincher. And then the first time we won the Stanley Cup at home. So the celebration was a little bit different. Lots more friends and family around that one. It was fun. It was nice to be able to win it at home. We won the first two on the road and then to be able to, I think, that was definitely a motivating factor, being able to win one in Chicago. Skate around with a cup on home ice in front of you know, the Chicago fans. I used to love it when the building was full in those early days, and then they would announce the team, and Kane and Taves would get the big cheers, and then they would inter introduce everybody else, and they'd all be listening. Like, oh yeah, my chair was pretty big too. Hey, yours is getting bigger. Like, we could all just feel the, the popularity rising based on how well we're doing as a team and yeah I think the atmosphere for sure having 22,000 fans cheering uh, as opposed to seven eight thousand fans it's a big difference especially when you can use that to your advantage knowing the other team's got a you can use it as a kind of a sixth man so to speak out there use it to your advantage and I definitely think that that atmosphere at the United Center has helped us propel us through you know series and games and over the years. Now it's just like that every day. It's unbelievable. The fans are passionate as ever, loyal as ever, and that's what makes it so cool when the Hawks win at home. I'm still, I'm not playing, but I'm still emotionally invested in what the Hawks are doing every day. It still feels like it's my team and I root for the guys. I get excited when the guys score goals and win games. I still feel the pain of, of tough losses, so it's definitely a part of, of my identity.